couple of years ago, I won an award for this image. And today I'm here to show you some of the techniques that we employed to create this image. And later in the tutorial, you'll be able to download the HDR and the backplate to try it out for yourself. The most important part of this setup for quick HDR capture is the Precision 360 Atom Head in combination with the Sigma 8mm 3.5 and in this case I attach that to a Canon Mark III body. Now let me show you how quick it is to capture the environment using these settings. I turn the camera on, I press the button and off we go. And that is it. The custom functions I used to catch the HDR for the Mars project were these. I go to my menu button, I go to my custom functions, and I set mirror lock up. I then go to the bracketing feature, which sets a five frame bracket up. Once I set my five frame bracket up, I go to my top buttons here and set those frames at two stops apart. Once I've set those at two stops apart, I then go to my drive function and set it to a delay of two seconds. Once that's all set, you will be able to capture your environment as quickly as I just demonstrated. So here we are inside PT GUI. The first thing to do is to go to your source folder where your captures were made and open up the first image. Here is my source folder. Select the first image and drag it to the window. You will notice that PT GUI recognizes the other images that were shot in that session. Click yes and import all 20 images. There we have it. The next tab I look at is the crop. So open the crop tab, select a bright image, probably the brighter the exposure, and find the edge of the image circle. That's probably good enough. Let's go back to the project assistant. I then align the images. Up pops the panorama editor window, and as you can see, all is looking good. So I minimize the panorama window, and go to Create Panorama. Inside the Create Panorama tab, you'll see the width has been set, the height has been set, the output file has been set. I always set it back to the source folder from where the original captures came from, so I tick that box there. I then move down to Output. I select the HDR Panorama, file output and I click create panorama and it is as simple as that and there we have it let me open up the Photoshop file let me just demonstrate the dynamic range one of the benefits of using this process there's no unusual flares or highlights And there we have it, the 360 capture that we used for the CGI Mars campaign. There are many ways to capture HDRs for image-based lighting, and I've tried most of them, from the very expensive Spheron down to a chrome ball. And as I said earlier, the key to this fast, efficient workflow is the Atom Head, available from 360 Precision. In combination with the Sigma and the Canon, this is the setup I use for all of my commercial work. If you would like to download the backplate and HDR demonstrated in this tutorial, and go to my website, harneman.com. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and if you'd like to visit me on Facebook, Harneman Photographer, you will be able to find all of the latest downloads and information there. Thanks for listening, and I hope you found the tutorial informative. <laughs>